Hi, honey. Hi, good morning. What are we working on today? We are going to show you how to make your seedlings be big and strong after you sow them. Here I have Tong Hao, spinach, letters, Chinese letters, sodas, this area. They just sprout and we need to thin them out today. This is Chinese lettuce, lettuce, Chinese lettuce, and some sodas. We are going to thin them out because we have a lot of seedlings grow out in one cell. In order to make them grow bigger, have more space to grow bigger, we have to thin them out. You see, a cell has many plants growing. I usually keep about three plants in a cell. So you're just thinning out the uh, little plants? Yes. We don't need this many because you keep them all, none of them will grow bigger. Lettuce seeds are very tiny. When you sow them, it's hard to control the quantity you put in the soil. So a lot of time we end up a bunch of seedlings growing right here. If you don't thin them out, they don't have enough space to grow. This side is after I thin the seedlings. This side is before I thin the seedling. You can see the difference. The best time to have the first thinning out is when they just sprout. So this one's all finished now? Yes, this one's finished. We will need to come back a few days later to see if they have more seedlings growing out if to see if we need to thin them again. Bok choy. For bok choy, quick choy, leafy mustard, or wu choy, I like to keep two to three seedlings in one cell. When I sow these seeds, it was easier for me to control the quantity of the seed I put in the cells. Three to four seeds in one cell. Now I just need to thin them down to three plants in a cell. This is easier. Like this one, if you want to transplant it, this one will be able to survive, I think. But it's not necessary, the seeds are not expensive. I think that's it. This is what it looks like right now. Good. Next one. There are not a lot of thin out right here, so I just put them out. I don't even need to take them out of the tray. Quick choy grows very fast. Quick choy grow very fast. That's why they call quick choy, because they fast. Like this seedling, give it three weeks, you'll be able to start to harvest. This seed, we sow it about 12 days. It already grow this big. Now this is done. Put it back. Bok choy, quick choy. Done thinning. Okay, this is another radish. Same thing, we only keep two plant in one cell. So after we thin out the vegetable seedlings, it's also very important for us to water the seedling and fertilize the seedling well so they will grow bigger and stronger. I use water dissolvable fertilizer to fertilize my seedlings. This is the bucket I use for my water and add some fertilizer in it. Half of the concentration they recommend. Just add the water in the tray. Good, not too much. Celery needs a lot of water. This celery, I separated them two days ago. Now they already stand up. We also need to water and fertilize them. Over here, the second batch of celery. So when do we start to fertilize our seedlings? Well, as soon as they grow root, we should start to add some fertilizer for them to grow. The bigger they grow, the more fertilizer they require to grow. This is all for today's video. If you learned something from our video, please give us a thumb up, subscribe to our channel, or visit our website at asiangardentodaybook.com. You can purchase some Asian vegetable seed and very good quality cast iron work. Thank you very much. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.